Hi right, guys, welcome back to DAT. It is finally here. It is Mambo time. Cheers guys, here's the TBS Mambo Tracer Remote from Team Black Sheep. I've waited a while to get this and I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to do this on screen with you guys. So first impressions, exact first impressions that I will give. And this is the FX version. And do you know why I've got the FX version? If you don't know, it's because I am cool as fuck. Let's get into it. There we go. Make sure I got my position right. So first things first, lovely FX stickers, various sizes. Very nice. Strap, remote strap. It's 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 green. It is green. No getting away from that green, is a but it's nice. It's a very nice strap. There we go, we'll try that out later. It's very green, isn't it? I'm not sure it's my kind of green. What else we'll see? A bit of package protection. Uh, where should we go first? Let's take, get rid of these little packets. So, what's in here? 1.5 Allen Hex and uh, throttle limitation screws. So there's some screws and stuff if you want to adjust it. Spring set as well. I'm probably just going to leave it exactly how it is, to be honest with you. Accessory, let's have a look what the accessory is. Yeah, so these are all the um, all the actual bits you put over the um, switches and stuff. So two sets, you've got your ready orange and your blacks. And you've got some little grip tape stuff there. Not quite sure where that goes. But these really switch little things. They go to the switch, we'll have a look at those in a second, I'm sure. This has to be the actual um, stand. Yep, so that is the actual stand. So you have to put the stand together. We'll have a look at that in a second as well. Here she is. Seriously, I haven't opened this yet. I've literally waited. I've had this half a day. It's been sat there, I've been gagging to get it open. And here we go. She looks smart. Let's see if I can get her out. Here we go. A new little baby, isn't it? All wrapped up. Here we go. There she is. Lighter than I thought, actually. What do you reckon, guys? What do I reckon? Now, I like the TBS Tango 2. I've been using that for a long time now. I've got probably one of the first. Um, one of the first ones that came out. So came out with a V1 board. And I've been using that for a long time. It does sit well in the hand actually. I can see how you could thumb it or pinching might be a little bit difficult. The gimbals feel nice. They do feel nice actually. She looks like a smart little radio actually. So there. There she is. Yeah, she looks nice. Okay, let's get some bits on her. So there she is, really nice. Fits well in the hand. Not as rubbery as I thought it was gonna be. 
maybe a little bit slippy, could have been could have done with a bit more grip on the sides. But it should just sit nicely in the hands, so that's a good position, especially for thumbing. Or thumbers if you prefer. Send it, We've got the 11 on there for this end. Send it, max power, 11. Well done, eh? These little things have got to fit on over here somehow. There we go, add a steely habit. Something like that. And put your black one on. And then your orange one. So those are the ones that I'm going to be using. Should have a little black one. See? I told you. How cool am I? Proper cool. Okay, let's see if we can get this stand on it as well. Don't even know how this stand works. So I know it's got to go like that. Something like that. Push the bolt through. It should be simple enough, shouldn't it? There we go, that's the stand together. And it's got to just fit on the back. Somehow. Well, they provided the bolts, so I presume it goes just like that. They supply you the small Allen key, but not the big one for those. So I've got to find a tool to do that. So bear with while I find one. Find an Allen key. They don't let it go tight. I'm not sure how tight that's supposed to go. And they let it go tight, tight. So I would have thought they would have gone tighter than that. Well, it shouldn't fall off, but it doesn't feel great, if I'm honest. Well, let's see if it falls off. It doesn't feel great, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. There you go. Can 
you see it there, it's on its stand now. Shame we can't adjust my camera. There it is. Look, no hands. So yeah, smart. Rattles a bit. I'm going to end up taking that off, I know I am. Yeah, it's gonna, that's going to really annoy me on the back. And it's nice to stand it up, but when you're flying or something, I think it's going to it's gonna start jarring a little bit. We'll leave it on, see what happens, and I'll report back. So, there you go guys, that is the Mambo, Mambo FX version, unboxed. So you've got the stand, you've got the um, caps for your switches, yeah, you've got the neck, neck lanyard, you've got some stickers, all for an extra few bucks. But yeah, but she looks really smart. And there's no batteries. I do have a couple of batteries. Let me go grab those. So two batteries, not supplied. See, this stands in the way now. Make sure you get them in the correct place, plus and minus. One. And two. So there. Uh, that makes it feel a bit more weighty. Yeah, that's not a bad weight now, I'd say, actually. So I'm going to switch it on and see what happens. Hello, Mambo. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Shouldn't be a switch warning. There we go. So just having a look around the actual Mambo, and obviously you've got your standard switches up here. Uh, obviously your throttle and stuff like that. Your your sticks, you've got your trims, uh, you've got your menu buttons, you've got this dial here to go through your menu, should be quite useful. And also you've got your switches at the top. So that's a momentary one, and that is an actual switch as well, like the TBS Tango, but they had two on either side. I think that's obviously going to be my arm. Yeah, she feels nice actually, very nice. The only thing I'm a little bit dubious about is this stand. I think it's going to start annoying me. So I may take it off. It does rattle. I can see that getting annoying. Apart from that, yeah, she looks good. So you get these little bits of uh, grip tape as well. And I was a little bit complex where these actually go. And they actually go on the top here. So they're for a little extra grip for your fingers. So I am going to stick those on right now. And they go, you can see this, they go just over the letters. I believe they go that way, yeah, they can't go that way, can they? Because your fingers are going to be like that. So it's supposed to provide a little bit more grip. Make sure I get this on correctly. Probably find out I'm doing this wrong. Surprising how much that actually does help. So those two, those two, that, that, because your fingers rest there, that is actually really good. Yeah, like that. I recommend that if you get these bits of grip tape, do stick them on. You will feel a difference instantly, and yeah, do like that. So, that is the Mambo FX version. Right there, guys, looks very nice. I'm gonna be doing more videos, which is gonna do the full, um, how you set up your whole Mambo configuration, all the setup, everything like that. So please watch out for those videos. I've done the Nano Tracer version as well, and I've done the M69. So those will all be linked in a playlist for you as well. There you go, guys, do check back later. Smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.